You are wasting money on dumb shit all the time. And listen, if you, if you listen to this, you can actually have a trainer and save money. Hey there, Coach Devin here. All right, so I had an interesting conversation with a client and they said to me, uh, something that struck me a little bit, they said, you know, personal training is so expensive and doing online training and stuff like that, it's expensive. I can't possibly afford it. You know, I'm a normal person, how do people afford it? And that got me thinking, I thought, you know what, I should look up and see what people spend money on because I'm always curious about that because I mean, I do understand I work with clients sometimes that have some disposable income, but, I was like, okay, well, how, what do people actually spend their money on? And let's look that up. So I made some notes for myself. <laughs> I looked up what people spend money on most regularly. And there's a whole breakdown, you know, what you spend the money on your cable and your cell phone bill and all those things, right? But the things that struck me uh, are the things that I would save you money on if you're working out uh, at the gym or if you are doing an online training with me. That stuff's kind of stuck out to me a little bit because I'm like, some of these things I would cut down or turn to almost zero because it doesn't really fit with the goals people are looking for, right? If you want to get more fit, why, you know, have some drinks and, you know, go to a restaurant regularly. So, I'm, these are average numbers that people put out there. This is the average for North America, uh, what people spend at different things. So, number one on the hit list, restaurants. On average, every month, people spend about $209 at restaurants. Seems steep, right? Seems like a lot of money, but if you go out with your spouse, if you go out with your kids, I'm talking anytime you go to a restaurant and sit down and eat, it can be expensive. I have uh, several, I have four kids, uh, my wife, we go out to eat. It is not a cheap endeavor. Lots of us do it all the time. We often go to a restaurant. So how often do you go to a restaurant? Maybe you don't spend 209 bucks, but you know what? $209 is the average. That's what norm, like the average person is spending. So it's quite a lot of money. Uh, and that, that was number one on the list that, that stuck out to me. Number two were drinks. I am not a drinker. My wife likes to have some drinks. Her family likes to have some drinks. My, you know, my family, obviously, you know, they had some drinks when I was younger. I'm just not a big drinker. Don't really care for it personally. But that's not saying that it's a bad thing. If you want to have some drinks, fill your boots. People on average spend $188 a month on alcohol. It's 188 bucks. Now that's alcohol mix, et cetera. It's all the stuff that goes into it. So, you know, if you're somebody who spends, you know, a hundred bucks, okay, it's less money. I understand this is not, you know, the, this is not the be all and end all for everybody, but that does mean that's the average. There's people who spend more and there's people who spend less, but the average person spends $188 a month on alcoholic drinks and the mix, et cetera, that goes along with it. Now, I think drinks also include like, you know, soft drinks and coffee and stuff like that. So if you're adding coffee and soft drinks and, you know, your alcohol together on average is 188 bucks. Not a cheap endeavor either. If you enjoy it, again, like I'm not telling you you shouldn't do any of this stuff. What I'm saying is these are the things that people, the top four things that people spend money on. Uh, next thing is takeout. And what's interesting is take, people look at takeout differently than they look at going to a restaurant. You go to a restaurant with your family, you go out for date night. That's one thing, you spend $209 on that, but takeout, when you're ordering takeout, uh, you're getting stuff delivered to your house, you're going to Uber Eats, or you're going to whatever DoorDash, or whatever the thing you happen to be doing, people spend money on that. I will be honest, we spend money on that. We have pizza every Friday night at my house. I'm a big pizza fan, I like pizza, I have pizza every Friday. You know, it's, it's not a cheap endeavor, right? There's there's more than two of us, so it, it's you know it costs more money to get pizza. Pizza is not a cheap, necessarily cheap. It's not a super expensive, but definitely spend more than a hundred dollars a month on probably on pizza. The average person spends one hundred and seventy eight dollars on takeout. One hundred and seventy eight bucks. Again, not a cheap thing. It's not the most, but it's not you know not the end of the world if you want to spend that. If you broke it down, or it really, it's a little less than fifty bucks a week. But again, that adds up, right? It just adds up. Now. Last but not least on the hit list was buying lunch at work. Uh, I have some staff that work with me. They buy lunch at work. Uh, I have clients that buy lunch. And I always say to them, man, that is an expensive ass endeavor. You can make my food at home for much, much cheaper. And they're like, yeah, but I like to go out to eat for lunch. I like to buy my lunch. To me, I don't buy lunch uh, at work because I bring everything with me. I'm a little bit of a control freak for myself, but that's okay. You don't have to, you know, be like me. But the average person spends $173 a month buying lunch at work. So, drum roll. 
what is the grand total? The grand total is $748 that people spend every month on restaurants, drinks, which includes coffee, um, tea, etc., alcohol, uh, and the things that go with it, uh, takeout, and buying lunch at work. Now, that's a lot of money. I just, you know what, if you look at that, you're going to go, whoa, holy shit, because you're going to add that up over the course of a year. In a year, you're definitely talking, I mean, look at that, that's going to be more than $8,000 a year spent doing stuff, right? Taking, getting money, you know, takeout, drinks, restaurants, etc. Now, what struck me about these things are, is that I find interesting is, number one, I would cut down the number of times you go out as a, as a, to eat as a family if you're working with me because I don't want, A, I don't want you going out to eat all the time. It's not a good idea. You can't control your food. You're not going to be as fit. It doesn't align with the goals, right? It doesn't align with the goals. If it doesn't align with the goals, what the hell is the point? That's how I look at it. The drinks, again, you want to have some coffee, you want to have tea, whatever it happens to be, but I obviously want people with... You know, less alcoholic drinks, <laughs> that helps if you want, you know, want to be more fit. It, you know, there's in one gram of alcohol, there's seven calories. It's almost as much as fat kids. So it's up there. So again, it adds a lot of calories and does it really add to your day as much as you think it does. If you want to have one drink, that's cool. But is it worth spending 188 bucks? Take out. Again, for me, I'm not going to get rid of pizza. I'll be honest with you. I'll keep the pizza. But you know what, I can get rid of some of the other things. So it's, it's a mix and match situation. And then buying lunch out. I don't buy lunch out, but lots of people do. If you enjoy it, do it. But is it worth $173 a month? This is, and, and it's 748 bucks. That is not cheap. It's just not cheap. And this is what amazes me is people will say to me, you're very, you know, you're expensive. I can't possibly afford you. But they're spending on average $700, almost $50 a month by doing stuff that isn't taking you towards your goals. If you're saying, hey, I want to be more fit, I want to feel better, and you're spending even $500 a month on stuff that you could get rid of, you could easily get rid of that. Heck, you could have a trainer and save money at the same time. That's the crazy part. You actually could have a trainer quite often and save money at the same time. Look, it's all about choices in life. Life is completely surrounded by and, and wrapped up in choices. We all choose the things we want to do. You vote with your money. If those things are important to you, these things are super important, then do them. 100% do them. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just giving you some information so you understand that sometimes you're spending money on things that you don't always think you should be spending money on, and in reality, it adds up quite a lot. That is over $8,000 a year on stuff and if you add in impulse purchases which i didn't include i didn't include the impulse purchases specifically because of the fact it's an impulse purchase and sometimes you're going to buy some stuff that's another 107 dollars so suddenly we're at 860 some bucks right 860 bucks is even more money do you really want to work as much as you're working for as hard as you're working for the things that you're getting at the other end i'm a big bang for my gut buck guy I like more stuff for less. I mean, when I look at food, I'm like, okay, how much food can I eat for fewer calories? That's how I look at it. More food, fewer calories, great, I want to do that. That's how I do it. Not everybody's like me, but that's okay. It's okay, you don't have to be like me. In fact, you probably don't want to be like me. I got some issues. I'm not perfect. But there's money everywhere. You waste money on dumb shit all the time. You are wasting money on dumb shit all the time. And listen, if you, if you listen to this, you can actually have a trainer and save money. How do you beat that? You get the stuff you want, and you save some money, and you're going to be much more healthy at the other end of it. So that's, it's kind of like a win, 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 and win. It's not a bad deal. If you have comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, write them up down below. If you have some other things that you spend dumb th money on, Spend your money on dumb shit. Write it up in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. This is the list that I got. Those are the ones that popped for me, but I bet there's some other ones out there. Have yourself a great day, everybody. Don't fight the awesome.